Okay, what you're looking at is Vetric software for my CNC. All I'm doing is cutting a, a pocket in the oak or walnut block. So the outer dimension is my block. The red line across here, that is going to be the pocket. And it measures... It measures 2.6 inches wide by 0.135 in height. So it's just a hair more than an eighth. Um, so that should accommodate it well, I hope. I've already saved this to my flash drive and I've already got the wood set up in the CNC. And it's already been uh, zeroed, so I'm ready to start over there. So I'll take you over there for a quick second so you can see what's gonna happen. Uh, when it's all said and done in the 3D rendering, that's what it's going to look like. I mean, this is pretty simple stuff. Recalculate it right quick, refresh it, and you can see what it's going to do. That's what it's going to do. Cut it back and forth. The only if is the bit I'm using is a 1 8 compression bit. I'm cutting one inch deep. That is its absolute maximum. I'm pushing it really hard. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. I've been known to break a bit or two. So anyway, let's go over to the CNC and uh, we'll get this Okay, started. those of you that have a CNC, you're probably gonna notice that my hole down here is jacked way up. Well, it's simply because I don't have a bolt long enough to get this even sort of flat. This is, a, this is right at two inches thick. So, I've blocked it on all four sides. I got this to hold it down so when it pulls up, because it's a compression bit. And then when it starts, when it first starts, I'm going to come in and lay that one in place too, just for an extra hold down. So that's what we got, and uh, we're ready to start. That was close. Okay, so here we have it. It's done. It works. It is bright. It is very bright. Probably too bright. <laughs> um, so in the camera, it looks like a white blob, but to the naked eye out here looking at it, you can definitely see the pop pop and, and you can see the laser lay CNC, Huntsville, Texas. All that shines out real nice. Um, so I think it will achieve what I was hoping it would achieve, which is to get your attention 30, 40 feet away from whatever booth I'm in or whatever event I'm in at the time. A couple of downsides to it. Um, if a LED goes out, it's junk. Right? The only thing that's savable is the power supply because it's all glued together. So one and done kind of thing. And you know, it's not going to be easy to tote around pack up wise. It's, it's almost kind of a delicate piece. So you got that to contend with, but, uh, all in all, I'm happy with it, but there's always things, you know, we learn 2020 or hindsight's 2020. So anyway, Let's bring you so in and uh, you can see, so you it, up can see it better. Um, so the slot is cut in the wood. I've mounted the transformer to the walnut. This is a two inch thick piece of walnut. Nice big platform. I'm hoping to keep it very stable when I'm in um, an event. Because my thought is I'm going to put this on top of the grid walls that I have to kind of get people's attention out there, you know, 40, 50 feet away. So, uh, anyway, that's, that's how it turned out. Uh, I'm happy with it. There are things I would change if I were to do it again. One, I would make this like a 14 inch diameter. Problem being you got to buy that huge sheets of acrylic and I don't have a laser big enough. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. Now let's talk about the sore spot of this whole subject, money. Um, cost effective? No, definitely not. 
this is something, like I said in the beginning of the first video, this is something I wanted to do just because. So this acrylic, the blue, is $25 a sheet. The white is $15 a sheet. And the mirror, I believe that was $9 a sheet. A sheet being 12 by 20. <coughs> so, and then you got your lights, your transformer. Um, it'll block a walnut if you want to count that. So, you know, well over a $100 bill. Um, so, yeah, probably not per se cost effective. But, like I said, it's something I wanted to do. So, go ahead and do it. Anyway, that's it. That's the end. Till next time.